My name's Tony Passy, and thanks for joining me for the next few minutes to talk about some of the changes in mobile traffic. Mobile traffic has been steadily increasing year after year as the smartphone becomes more capable and more prevalent. Mobile search results are here to stay. Back on April 21st, 2015, Google made a decision to launch their mobile crawler and permanently split desktop search results from mobile search results. This has affected a lot of websites. The way that you optimize a website to show up in mobile results is very, very different than the way you optimize the website for desktop results. However, search engines don't control traffic on the mobile device. When you use your mobile device, you're spending 70-80% of your time in native apps on your mobile device. Very little time is actually spent inside the browser. The search engines aren't as accessible from native apps. The other problem is search engines don't have an index of all the content that's available through social media and so many other content channels that are available in native apps. The imaginary wall that is between the browser and the native app on the mobile device is creating real problems for the search engine. My prediction for 2016 was that search engines are going to come up with a way to break down that wall and begin indexing the content that's available in a mobile app. Think about this for a second. If you have a question and you want to know latest news about a pop star like Britney Spears, you open up your phone, you open a browser, and you do a Google search for Britney Spears. Well, it is possible that the latest news that's happened around that pop celebrity only happened on a closed social media network like Facebook or Snapchat and primarily happened on a mobile device. If that's the case, Google isn't going to have a good way to index content as it's happening real time and work that into their search engine. So you might go to their search engine, you might type in Britney Spears, not see any late breaking news, and then you begin to lose confidence in the search engine's ability to provide you accurate and timely results. This is the big problem that they're facing. Google has already done a lot of things with Google Analytics to get their reporting inside of mobile apps, but I believe that there's a lot more to happen and a lot more to change. So don't be surprised if more companies end up being enticed to switch over to web apps that run natively in the browser, or Google figures out a way to knock down that wall and start indexing in-app content. If you're concerned about the strength of your mobile website and how you rank on mobile search results, go on over to firetoss.com tools and you will find a link to Google's mobile friendly test tool. This tool loads your website in a mobile browser and gives you feedback on things that you need to do to improve and change your website for better search results. Thanks for joining me for these few minutes. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks again.